Well, I've just been shopping, shopping for trees, and uh, I've just I'm back at the farm. You wonder about the noise that the uh, the cattle cake has just turned up. There they are, look. So they're delivering the cattle cake, but in the meantime, look, just next to it are the trees I bought. So I bought uh, a, a pendulous, that's a, a birch tree. Um, oh, he's tripped, taking the top out. Uh, and this one is a cherry tree. Cherry trees for the front garden. The birch, the, it's a weeping birch to replace the weeping ash that Farmer P cut down the other day. So we're gonna have a look at that. Me and the boys are gonna be planting that ash tree. What could possibly go wrong? Let's just get these out. heavy. Right. Uh. There we go. No, not the bin. Right. We're going to go and get uh, sorted and we're going to plant the uh, ash tree this afternoon. Okay, so I got my tree. Here we are, look. Whatever that, how do you pronounce that? Berica pendula tristis, I think it is. Right, so I'm gonna put this, I think the, the, the boys and Sam are coming out in a minute. I'm just sort of prepping stuff, really. I'm gonna plant this tree Let's spin it around. I'm planting this tree right in front of, or to the, just somewhere here, to my tree trunk. Um, and this is all, look at the ash dieback that's come on here. Look, it's coming back down there, look. Dead. This bit, I think it's still alive, but we're gonna give up on the ash tree because it's not gonna last much longer. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put, what well, when we're planting the tree, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna sand this a bit and see if we can count the rings on the tree. I'm not sure how old that is. So if I put a sander on there, I might be able to expose the the little rings. Can you see the rings? There's quite a bit of counting there. And we're also, I've got some bird feeders to put on here. Let's go and see if I can find them. All right, there's my little birdie feeders. Sam picked those up the other day. Fat ball feeder and peanut feeder. I'm going to make a little thing to go on there. I'll show you what I'm doing. Right, I found these in the workshop. Now, these are actually quite interesting. These are gutter brackets, but they're not modern gutter brackets. They're really old. Um, and if you look, they're actually hand forged. Whoever made that bit there, they then put a pin through there and just tapped it off. Um, so they're probably a couple of hundred years old, similar with that one, look. And what they are, they go under here, and you can actually see one in situ. Better example is that one probably there. Um, there you go, that one would go in there like that and hold the gutter up. Um, but they've been sitting around, it's not something I'm going to use regularly. I don't think anyone uses these sort of things now. So all I'm going to do is going to bend that, I'm going to tap that into the um, wood on the post and we can just hang these from there. That's my plan. Right. I'm gonna crimp one of them shut. So it's not in the way. And then that one there, I'm just gonna bend over a little bit. I'm just gonna tap that with a hammer. Let's go. Turn the light off. So the idea is, I'm gonna tap that in the post and then I can hang my bird feeder from that. Will that work? 
don't see why not. Yeah, I'll leave those there a minute. Just get the sander a minute and I'll just sand that before they come out. All right, let's put that down on there. I'm not convinced that's made it any easier to see. I might just wet it actually and see whether that makes a difference. Can't really see very well. That's a bit better, isn't it? I mean, you know, not the easiest thing to see. Of course, the chainsaw marks make it difficult as well. I reckon I can work that out. There's the centre there, look. I mean, that's going to be not the easiest thing to count. How would you reckon that is? Here, where's Harry? Come on. What do you mean you're not allowed out? You're allowed out. Just leave the dog in. I said leave the dog in. Come on. Come out. Oh, sorry, bud. You'll have to watch. You'll dig the tree up otherwise. Come on, Harry. Right. Well, while we're waiting for Harry, do you want to guess how old that tree is? Which tree? The one we cut down. Oh, I'm going to measure not the rings in it. Anymore, is it. No, the stump. Um, How old do you reckon? Younger than you. You're funny. How old? Uh, 400 years old. 400. Are you sure about that? I don't know. I don't, what tribal tree is it? Ash tree. Oh, 200. 200. Are you going for a guess? No, 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 I'll go, I'll go do one. I have to guess or yeah. can I go and look? No, because I'm going to go and count them. You can't cheat. And, oh. Well, you can count, do the counting if you want. I'll go 184. You're 184. Oh. What are you going for? What were you going to go for? That's sort of where I was going to go. Well, you go one side or the other. Uh, How are you? The yeah, 190. 190. Where's Harry? He's there or thereabouts. Harry! Where's he gone? Probably looking for Right, do you want to try start counting? I didn't count it. Well, Harry, how do you count it? You count it with the rings. The number of rings, look. There's a ring there, is there? Yeah, there is. Where? What do you mean? Where? I'm not counting that. I take That's a lot of rings, isn't it? I'm not counting that. I've got to start right from there to there. Well, you I'll tell you what, you and Mum and Harry can start digging the hole for the tree while I do the rings. Do you want to do that? It's going to take ages. Yeah, well, it won't take that long. There's, there's more than I can count quite there. quick. No, yeah, there's can't. well more than 100. These are really difficult because you can't see them very well. Uh huh. If you do it in that bit as well. Yeah. The easiest bit would probably be. Yeah, you can't do it in that bit. No, because it's all it. scratched and. Mm. Mm. Look at the dog. Look at the dog. Go and grab Harry then. I don't know what he's doing. I reckon there's about the easiest place to measure it. It's almost impossible. Harry. Harry. Glad for you've made it out right. Harry, now I need you to guess. They've all guessed how old the tree is. Do you want to guess? Why well, those the rings? Yeah, I've got to count all those. I think I might wing it a bit. How, how old do you think this tree is? I think it's over a thousand. A thousand? Well, th hang on. So Harry, one, it's not one, over a thousand. One it's ring younger is, than the house. One ring is one, one year. One year, yeah. Then how is there so many years? Well, because it keeps growing and putting an extra ring on each year. But then if it, if it grows, yeah. then that looks like there's a over from the a middle, thousand. And then it grew out. Gradually, one ring what at a time. What does one ring look one ring. like? Well, look, you can see the lines, can't you? Yeah, so that's, that's one, one ring. year. Yeah. So that's surely over a thousand. No, it's not a thousand. That makes no sense. Do you sense. want to guess? Ask mum and dad what the, mum and mum and dad? Harry, mum and Harry, what, mum and Jack, yes. what what they've done. Well, what I, did I'm you guess? still counting. One was 190, and the other was 180 something. How? What do you want to guess? Quick, I'll have to hurry you. Uh, 232. 232. Alright, tell mum your answer. Right, I'm going to carry on, crack on with this. I'm digging, I'm still counting. 21. This is a nightmare. Did you? Hey, well, uh, yeah, somewhere there. I reckon around about here. There. Yeah? Yeah. A bit out from the wall, because that's too close to the wall, isn't it, with the roots. Alright? Alright. I think my counting's way out. Harry, what are you doing? excuse me, I'm, I'm marking off. So I don't think I've got it very accurate. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm up to, uh, I'm up to, I can't tell you what I'm up to, it's trade secret. Go away. I reckon I've got the best. Go away, get digging. 
Is there any gold there? there. The well, you're gonna have to dig round the root, or dig out the root. Oh, Got a big hole to dig, Jack, because you've got to get in the pot. I think I finished. Do you want to? Do you want to just touch? Are those your uh, notches? Those are my notch notches. The oh, rings get the rings get bigger mm. in the middle. So I just guessed. okay. Let me. So it's roughly accurate. Mm -hmm. 20, 40, what? 60, what? 80, mm -hmm. 100, oh, yeah. 120, 140, 160. I was closer. I was closer. So who said what? I said 161. No, Harry, you said 220. No, I didn't. You didn't, Harry. You always lost. 232. What did you say, Jack? 184. And what did you say, Mum? 190. So right, so I didn't guess six. myself. Yeah, that's it's 160, cool. I reckon, which would be well, about right. So if we want to calculate that yeah. back, so I think it stopped growing in about 2015. Okay. Do you want to do the maths on that? No. 160. So take 100, 100 years back from 2015. You can't do it. <laughs> of course you can. 1915. Take 60 off 1950. 15. Jack will do that. Hey, 1845. Mm. I reckon that's about right. Is that right? 18, no, I've done that 45. wrong. 55. 1855. 1855. I think that's about right for the tree. How are we doing? Well, I think rock. we've hit rock. Oh, well, look, you have. But look, you need dad muscle, right? Well, well, go, do you want to get a pickaxe and a bar? I'll get this. Right. Let's see what you can do. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Muscle Man. Hey, it's rocky, isn't it? Yeah. What we need is a bar. I don't have to go and get my proper farm. I'm only wearing Crocs. I'm going to have to go and change out of these Crocs yeah. and go and get a bar. Okay. Mm. All right? Yep. Okay. Hey, Jack, look at me. Right. Harry, you're looking up the tree. Okay, got my bar. Hey, the tree's double size of you. Hey, Jeff. More than double. No. Right. Excuse me. Oh my god. Hey. No, exactly the best spot for a tree. No. That's god. why I didn't dig it too much, because I thought you might change your mind. Well, is it any better anywhere else? Ask me over there, that's where the wood is. We've kind of already got like a Start of the hole. Right. Wait, look the bamboo. That's this way. Buddy. God, I can't believe this. Well, the tree root, maybe that's why the tree root's above the ground there, look. Yeah, the problem is. Yeah. If that's, if that's going to go quite a long way. No, oh, we'll find out. It's not going to be able to grow because it's got some stone and rock in the way. Well, I'm it? hoping. What I'm hoping is it's actually just a lump of rock that I'll get past and underneath will be soil. It could be just... I wouldn't have thought it would be the same of rock this close to the top. Oh my god. Oh, flipping heck. Maybe that's why they built the house here on the foundations of put the foundations on the seam of rock. Yeah. Do you think? Maybe. It yeah. sounds quite bad, Dad. Right this there. isn't going well, is it? Do you want to choose a different spot? Well, do you, you want to start digging with a spade and see if you can find a different spot? Where else are right. we gonna put it? Where it's... Jack is? Yeah. Is that on? Yes. Right. Move your foot. No, not yeah. along there so much. Yeah. Here, Maybe about there. That's right. Try there. Well, there's loads of rubble in here. This is not just rock. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> Harry, that's pathetic. Right over there. Well, I'm in so this is interesting. This is I'm actually going to take us about four days to dig this, as we can't find that? a spot. That it, well, I'll fill it back in. Oh, yeah, it's a rock there already. Well, you haven't even tried. It's not going down. Yeah, but it might be just stones that you actually have to move. Mm. That's normal when you're digging land. Whenever I'm fencing, I have to quite often move stones. Stone. This is Stony. really bad. Because when they built the walls and stuff, generally what they do is they chuck the rubble out into the side of the wall. So quite often you'll find stones that are just dumped in the soil. 
my builder's rubble from when they built this house. Go on, put your back into it. I can see I'm gonna have to do that. Do I mean that's oh, big my hard work's managed to I mean, pull it could be that out. down there. Well my hard work's managed to pull that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, it's quite often there's rubble just left. There's a, there's a tree there. Yeah, probably part of this. So we're having the tree a little bit different. Okay, so well, uh, I would have rather had it over here. Buddy's digging the hole. Is he? Oh, we'll just leave him to it. But do you want to just do that and then we'll come back in about an hour when you dug a hole big enough for that pot? There is, whenever there's a hole, there's Jack Russell will go straight for it, won't he? He's an automatic digger. He's an automatic digger, isn't he? <coughs> Good man. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's soft. Do you think it's all right there? Buddy thinks it's all right. This, this I've definitely... <coughs> oh, that's just stone there, right down. Whereas I think there, it's actually broken up. I think you'll be all right. Keep going. There's roots there. Yeah. Well, I reckon that's why the roots are like that. Rather than get, because roots don't normally go above ground, do they? And look at this one. And that one. I reckon they couldn't go down. Do you think you can get a hole in there? Maybe. Jack, come on. You've got the whole world watching you. Or well, most of the world. Most of the world. Come on. Are you hitting rock? Yeah. I can't believe it. It is pretty sure what they've done when they I know we got scenes of rock here, you know on the farm where I've got the problem with the the um with the grass dying and, and uh, the maize last year. We got shallow seams of rock really low below the ground. Uh certainly here the the rock is really low down. It's not or not low it's right close to the top. I mean, it's quite possible they built the house on seams of rock. It's certainly a good place to build a house, isn't it? You don't got to worry about foundations. What do you reckon to this? I can't get that rock out. Do you want me to do it? How, how deep's that? I'll have a go with the bar. Oh my god. The oh my god. dust from the stone. That isn't great. No, oh, that's not great, is it? Nope. Well, if we put this in here, we're going to have the same problem with the ash tree. Yeah. Roots are going to be quite... But then that ash tree managed to survive, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are you recording that, Harry? Yes. All right. I think we have to dig down as best we can, and we hope for the best. Mm-hmm. Because the ash tree survived. I'm sure the silver birch will. That's if we can dig a hole for it. All right, Harry. Jack, you dig that out. Ooh. Big stone. Big stone, dig out what you can. Little buddy. And then we lift the, I think we lift the silver birch in. Squatting. It's a massive <laughs> stone here. Can you get it out? What, well, that little one? No, 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 no. Uh, massive one here. Massive. Yeah. Oh, and he's got. That's why I'm out the speed of him. Right, Harry, why don't you dig that out? Come and see this. He's making excuses. Right. So, <laughs> this is what I'm going to put in as my bird feeder holders. Do you reckon this will work? So, I think so. Tap one of those in there. <laughs> hang that on there like that. Yeah. It's got to be out of the way of the dog, isn't it? Uh huh. Right, I reckon I could do it at an angle. Right, first one. You need to take the wrapping off, aren't you? Yeah, I'll just try an outlet. What do you reckon? Good. Reckon, and the next one. Put that on there like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'd be good, wouldn't it? You can see uh -huh. that from the kitchen window. Mm -hmm. So, how are you doing, Jack? Yeah. Do you want to unwrap it? I don't need to tap anymore, Harry, but could you unwrap them for me? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Crikey, Jack. I think that's probably deep enough. We're only going to get that big one out. Okay. Let's put this in then. 
There's a bit of water now. Well, I don't need to water it. Water it up first and see if it's the right size. Look. If you can get out of the pot, right, pull the pot off. Oh. Pull the pot. There you go. All right? There you go. A little bit of water, Yeah, I'm just talking the dog out the way. The dogs are now in the, the there. In the hole. If you want to put some... Uh... Dog. Come here. Oh, buddy. That's oh. it, water the root. Harry's meanwhile doing the peanuts. Right. So you got to fill that soil all back round there then. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to do it without any rocks on it. Yeah, put, don't, don't put the rocks in, just... Let's hope for the best, this. This is... I'm amazed that that tree did all right here. So it just shows um, trees can survive in rocky areas. We just hope the roots go out. They'll find a way. All right. Get off. I'm gonna I'm gonna upset him, buddy. Here we go. Buddy, you're a rascal, aren't you? Right, we put a few stones around it. I reckon you get another thing of water for that, Harry. Jack's disappeared inside, we've broken him. Right, just gotta tidy up. My bird feeders are looking ace now. Right. So look at that, that's perfect. So let's just have a look then. So we got a tree in place. I would have liked it there, but we're not going to get it in the ground there. It's okay there. It's all right there, isn't it? Don't you think? Yeah. Be all right there. I'm just used to having a tree over this side, but I think that will look nice when it's got going. Harry's going to water the tree, and then we're done. So we've got a 160-year-old bird feeder there. We've got a brand new one-year-old probably tree there, and we've got a dog that's a year old and just a bit of. Just pour it out. Go on, Harry, just pour it. He wants a drink, look. He's helping. Oh, Right, thanks, Harry. We're done. Crack on. Okay, bit of an update on the tree. So, planted it yesterday. And do you know what? I, I couldn't sleep last night thinking about whether I'd put it in the right place. So, I've got up this morning and I've moved it, look. I put it in the, hello buddy, all right mate. I've moved it into the corner, which for me seems a better place. It's sort of in the corner and you think when the canopy goes up, it'll sort of shade that corner area, which is already kind of was in the shade of the old tree and wasn't much there. Whereas I felt that having it over there just wasn't quite right. I wanted to have what I had before, the tree going up with a canopy just there. So yeah, so the, the old silver birch, the new silver birch is, the drooping, weeping silver birch is just there in the corner. There we go.